Here is a very simple and obvious thing you've been told this lots and lots of times and it's about the fourth finger, the pinky. Um, it's kind of the disabled finger out of the hand, unfortunately. I mean, it's the fact that it's, it was made too short means it doesn't really want to play well with the others. So the important thing about that is knowing that early on and instead of uh, letting it slack off, which is the, what feels natural because it just doesn't sit there the way the other fingers do, just know that you, you're going to need to use it and at some point if you haven't kind of trained up your fourth finger you're really going to regret it um, and it doesn't matter what style you do it's not to do with you know having to do massive stretches it doesn't matter if you if you're a shredder or if you're a jazz guy you know chord wise you're going to need that fourth finger and you're going to reach a point where you hear something that you want to be able to do and you realize that it's your fourth finger and if you haven't practiced enough with your fourth finger it's going to be years behind the rest of your hand. Um, so uh, you look, there's all of the kind of obvious things, the chromatic scales. That it's probably why people don't practice those things enough because they're awfully boring. But um, you know, even just stretching out kind of patterns and making sure when you're doing pentatonic kind of leaks that you are using the fourth, and you know, your hand should most of the time your hand should kind of sit on the neck. You know, kind of straight like that, it shouldn't have anything too extreme about it, um, which is what ends up happening if you don't use your fourth finger. If you're always trying to use your other fingers, your left hand ends up, you know, kind of training itself into the wrong positions. Yeah, because it's all muscle memory, so whatever you keep doing is what your hand is going to end up uh, being stuck with and it can be very hard to get out of it. So, you know, just any fourth finger exercises, some of the, like things like this are a killer, just doing. Seems like nothing, but it's, it's it's a horrible thing. The fourth finger just does not want to behave the way the others do. So anything you can do to improve that, pedal kind of ideas are nice for that. Because you know most of the time your fourth finger is going to need to be on the top of those kind of things. You know, it sounds like that. You're not going to be able to do that unless you're using your fourth finger, unless you've got a massive Gary Moore hand. You know, most of your arpeggio ideas. It's going to be a fourth finger on the top. So, use the fourth finger. Don't let that little guy go to waste.